My name is Amanda Yord, and I have been investigating well interferences in the Blaine Ham Lake area of Anoka County for the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources, or the DNR. In August 2022, the DNR began receiving calls from residents of Blaine and Ham Lake whose private domestic wells, like this one, were suddenly out of water. DNR suspected well interference and started investigating. Pumping from a high volume well lowers the water level in the surrounding groundwater aquifer. Well interference occurs when the water level drops below a domestic well pump, so the pump cannot reach or pump water. DNR starts a well interference investigation after a well driller inspects the homeowner's well and submits a well interference complaint form. A complaint is valid if nearby high volume pumping caused the well to run out of water and not valid if the well ran out of water for some other reason, like a bad pump. As of spring 2023, the DNR has received 74 well interference complaint forms in Anoka County. Because there are so many complaints, the DNR is investigating them in batches. We started off by investigating the 50 complaints shown on the map. You can see most of the complaints are clustered in the same area in Southern Ham Lake. The complaints also occurred around the same time in July and August 2022, and well owners reported the same problem of low water supply. These similarities told us that there must have been high volume pumping nearby. So we looked at who is pumping during this time. We have 21 permitted groundwater users in the investigation area. We also found the city of Blaine was pumping three wells without DNR authorization. Our next step was to investigate the geology below ground to see where these users access groundwater. Let's look at a slice out of the earth at this line. This shows what is underground at Blaine and Ham Lake. Everything you see in pink, blue and green is an aquifer where groundwater is stored. Most domestic wells and high volume wells use water from glacial sand and gravel aquifers and from fractured bedrock aquifers below. We found that these aquifers are highly connected in what we call an aquifer system, which means high volume pumping from one part of the system can lower water levels in domestic wells in another part of the system. So next, we needed to investigate the connection between groundwater levels and groundwater use. We saw that water levels have been decreasing in recent years, while groundwater use is increasing over time. The increase in water use is due to the city of Blaine, who is the largest user in the area. 2022 had highest water use and lowest water levels on record which showed us that water use and water levels are connected in this area. We knew that high volume pumping had lowered water levels in domestic wells. So our last step was to figure out which of the high volume users were responsible for well interference. Some of these 21 users were excluded from the investigation due to Minnesota rule, which says that if a high volume well is permitted before a domestic well is installed, the high volume well can't be responsible for well interference. To find out which of the remaining users caused well interference, we used a model to recreate pumping and water level decline in 2022. If the model showed that pumping from a high volume well caused at least one foot of water level decline in a domestic well, the high volume well contributed to well interference. Using this approach, this is what DNR found. Of the 50 complaints investigated, 47 were valid, which means high volume pumping lowered water levels below the pump. Three were not valid, which means the well ran out of water because of a well equipment issue. We found that Blaine was the main contributor to well interference in all 47 valid complaints. Two golf courses were minor contributors to well interference in one complaint each. So what are the DNR's next steps? First, we will work through the well interference settlement process with Blaine, the two golf courses, and the 47 well owners with valid complaints. 
Second, we will continue to investigate outstanding and future complaints. And third, we will review the City of Blaine's permit to make sure nearby wells are protected in the future. Thank you for watching this video. For technical questions, please contact me at amanda.yord at state.mn.us. For well interference process questions or to file a complaint, please contact Claudia Hochstein at claudia.hochstein at state.mn.us.